Welcome to Spirit Forest. I have a car load full of stuff for the tent. Um, maybe I can record all of it. Let's check it out. So here's the only area in the tent that Rocky could fit. And look at all this stuff. I have a chair. I have a rug. The white part is a bed. And all my normal stuff. So I got all the stuff out of the car. I'm exhausted. That stuff was heavy. So I'm going to sweep, clean, and quickly decorate before the sun goes down. I got here kind of late, so uh, hopefully I can get it all done. I've never put this up before, so we'll see. Thank you. 
Hello and good morning. You know, I have backpacked for over 20 years and this bed. <laughs> it, it, what they call it glamping? This is like truly glamping right here. This is like, I am outdoors, you know, like I have my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll up the sides today, but I feel like I'm outdoors, but I'm camping and I have this nice, beautiful bed. And last night, it was amazing. I love it. I do. I love it. I am so happy right now. Um, so, so last night, um, I have my, my night lights. And uh, because I got here so late last night that um, they didn't have a lot of charge to them. So as soon as they went out, Rocky started growling and barking and he started getting all antsy because he wants his nightlight. Um, and I didn't feel like keeping my battery one the whole time. So it was kind of a re restless night for, for Rocky. Um, I think I slept really good though. Um, don't get me wrong, I really like my my little blow up um, mattress thing for, for backpacking, but this takes it to a whole new level. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, I was able, I had the windows open all night. Um, so I was able just to, to look outside. Um, wasn't too cold. It, um, you know, I think I was, I was too hot in my sleeping bag. I really was, I started sweating in the sleeping bag. And then when I, when I came out of the sleeping bag, I was too cold. So it was just kind of like I needed a, this mix between the two. I think I would have been just fine with blankets on me. Um, but I didn't feel like going into the storage bin and uh, getting more blankets. So I just kind of did half-half type thing. I used this blanket and stuff. So, Well, I'm going to get breakfast, which consists of oatmeal, um, which is my normal stable breakfast. And then I will give you another little tour of the of the tent. So, good morning. Okay, I ate breakfast, and now I am in the tent. And I just want to show you a little bit of what the tent looks like. I'm so excited. I decorated a little. I had a little bit of a uh, female touch to this tent. Um, might need to add a little bit more female touch to it. But it is... It's starting to look like home and I really like it. So let me show you, give you a little tour. I know the kids gave you a tour in another video, um, but now I'm giving you my tour. So there's the bed that I was just talking about. And I'll try to link in this, the description uh, where I got this bed. If I forget, which sometimes I do, just send me a comment and uh, I'll make sure I link that in there. And here is my little um, folding shelf. I showed that earlier how it folds. Really nice. I actually think I maybe need two of these. I think they were like $40 on Amazon. Really like that. Really sturdy. And uh, there's my other light. Madison wants to build a little table uh, to put lights and maybe a little bit of plants on it. I think that's a great idea. I think we should do that. Nice little bushcraft type table. And here's their bunk beds that currently right now is a couch. So if yeah, I need somewhere else to sit, I could sit here. And I have windows looking outside. There's my storage bin. And there's my other window. And I have a window there, but I can't reach it. It's three feet above the ground. And... Um, I'll have to figure out, maybe i got to make me a step stool um, so I can reach that window. But I was able to reach this window, so last night I was able to, it's like a full moon last night, and I was able to, to look outside. It was really nice. And here's the beams. You know, I wasn't able to record everything on these beams. Um, I really think these 2x4s aren't very steady, uh, sturdy. Um, you know, and if I wanted to like hang something here, it's going to split the board. And I was hoping that I'd be able to hang something there or hang something at the top. Um, but the first beam that we, or not first beam, the first, I don't know what you call these. What do you call these? I don't know. 
pillar. <laughs> we'll just call it that for now because I don't remember what you call them. So the first one we did, it split because you have to put a pin in the middle of it and that pin goes through the top board. So we end up bracing both the sides there. Um, and you'll see it, we did it with that one um, as well as, if you can focus on this one. And then the one that's out there, we did not do that with. It doesn't carry as much weight, so we felt that it was probably fine. Um, but maybe next year, we might think of something different. We don't think a, a 2x4 is the best solution for the top here. I mean, yeah, the tent hasn't fallen, um, which is good. I actually drove out here. I was a little nervous that maybe the tent fell over. Um, but it didn't, and it, it's still up, and it seems really sturdy. So very happy about that. Oh, uh, my stove. Let me show you. The stove's not here yet, but I did bring some tiles um, just to help out with the, you know, the heat transfer there. Um, I don't want to burn the floor. It's a pretty big stove, uh, and it's uh, probably going to come up here within the next couple weeks. And um, we have a hole here. And then it's Velcroed on. You can open this, and then it goes to the rain fly as well. Um, so it goes goes straight out. And we'll probably be, I mean, right now we don't really need a stove. It's warm enough, but um, we will later. So that's why we have it. I got some extra tiles over here. I'm not sure the exact size of the stove. So we're just going to move it around. We might end up putting some plywood on the sides as well. Um, one of the things I really wanted to change, you know, in hindsight, was this window location. Since the stove stove is here I should have moved the window over um, that way a little bit more um, but you know it's still gonna work and the stove's still gonna fit in there but I just um, we just got to be careful because I just don't want anything melting or burning and I don't think this is a uh, mosquito type net thing and I really don't want that to get ruined and it's all the way around the tent um, I'm not very confident, so we might put some like plywood up or something like that that surrounds the stove. If you got any other ideas, please leave a comment below because I don't really know what I'm going to do here just to make sure things don't melt. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll go out to the porch area. So in the morning, the sun it comes in on the porch really bright, really bright. Um... But in the afternoon when it gets really hot out, um, then this is all nice and covered. So it's really nice to um, sit on the porch. And that's why I position the porch this way is that we can get the nice warm sun in the morning and then get um, the nice afternoon shade um, when it gets really warm up here. Today, it's almost going to be 80 degrees. I'm like, wow, I didn't know if it got that. I didn't know it got that hot up here. Um, but uh, down in the city, it's going to be around 90. So uh, let me kind of show you some of the some of the porch area. Um, I did put these little lights up. I really like them. There are solar lights. Uh, they don't uh, again Amazon, um, but these do not. Uh, what am I thinking? They don't take out. They don't put out a lot of light. They're really just for ambiance, you know. <laughs> it just makes it look so pretty. Um, but really it doesn't make it so you can see um, around so I thought it would but but they really don't and um, I'm gonna have to get some other lights for that and you'll see that this is this is the solar oops this is my solar I just have it hanging um, I just have it hanging here all day and it's gonna be sit in the same spot um, let me show you my my chair so here I have my chair. Um, it nicely folds out, and you guys will see that, I'm sure, through the majority of my videos. And because it's sunny, I have my so, um, solar panel down here, um, charging my phone, and then I have my, my night lights um, charging as well. And then let's go over, oh, I need my sunglasses. Okay. Um, and then over here, look at, I did, I did flowers. I love flowers. And uh, I was told that these flowers are deer safe. So basically the deer don't like red flowers. Um, and they're really pretty. Look at them. Aren't they so pretty? 
Now, I'm not going to be up here every weekend, so I hope it rains. Um, I bought those at Walmart. I don't know. Anyway, so here's some, here's some other lights. I have the same lights on the other side. Um, again, again, it's just kind of an ambiance. Last night it was really pretty as I was sitting on the porch and so forth. And then down here is Little Rocky area. He's not too happy when I brought this out. He doesn't mind his crate too much. Um, I need to, I need to bring his bed though. I ran out of room in the car, but, um, he needs to have his bed here and the mosquitoes. Holy moly. I haven't, I haven't seen one mosquito here until this weekend. And that's because it wasn't hot enough. It's been really cold. So now it's hot enough. And, um, now we're getting a lot of mosquitoes. So I'm going to try to make something over here so that um, I could put some sort of mosquito netting on it because you know he's just like everybody else he doesn't like all the bugs right Rex you don't like the bugs he's like they annoy me so we're gonna figure out something for Rocky um, and why do I have the crate well I'm gonna bring my kayak here and if I bring my kayak um, he can't fit in the kayak so he's gonna have to stay here and so this is gonna be his spot when I go kayaking and um, don't worry, I'll put water in there. He'll be fine. It's in the shade the majority of the day. Um, and I'll make sure that he's got enough stuff in here. And, you know, um, you'll see it all around here. A lot of people have crates for their dogs. Um, in fact, um, about a quarter mile down, um, this guy has, he's got a crate for his dog too. And he'll be in the shade on the porch, just hanging out. Um, you know, and the, the lake is only like a 20 minute drive for me here. And, you know, so maybe I'm gone for like two hours or so, but, uh, he doesn't mind it. He's, yeah, he looks, he's like, yeah, I do. I want to go kayaking. Oh, look how pretty it looks. Look at the flowers. And the, it's just a little bit of color. It totally matters. I might have to get more flowers. Maybe when I, when I return. Oh, I never talked about my little bear. This, this little guy here. Um, my mom gave that to me like. I don't know, maybe 12 years ago, and it's just been sitting in my basement, and I was pulling, st I was pulling this chair out, this chair, and it was in my basement. I looked over, and I saw that little bear, and I'm like, oh, I should bring the little bear. It's like a little cabin, and they're cute. And I, I just kind of put them where there's this, this pillar. Let me show you. So see how, right when you walk in, there's this bar right here. So I've been putting the bear right in front of it because I can totally see someone Todd uh, running into that bar um so it's just isn't it just so pretty I should take a picture um well let me show you I'm, I'm gonna work on some other things here too so um I'll come back and when I get the chance to roll up the tent I'll, I'll take a little short video of that um but I'm gonna stain too so the arms on the tent you see that little part that's not stained right I don't know right there right there I gotta stain that um, so what we did we just try to secure the arms just a little bit more they're a little wobbly but you know, I think they're gonna be okay I think they're gonna be fine um, but we just want to do is just some extra precaution on that and then um, I got some other projects that I want to get done here too so I gotta get going but uh, thanks thanks for watching
So now we're at the. What is this? Oh, my poor little ladybug. Okay, don't have a mirror here. Oops. <laughs> okay.